So hey guys, what I was going to talk to you about this morning, it's turkey season here, and uh, but I'm going to talk about whitetails, because that's all I think about. But anyways, you can see that green plot I just filmed, and it just kind of makes a pinch right here, and this comes into another field right here. And so what I wanted to show you, what I'm going to do, we're going to plant beans in this field right here. It's going to be, I don't know, maybe maybe two, two and a half acres, three acres of standing soybeans. But this little runway right here is going to be left open. And there's bedding down in here, bedding all along in here and all the way along the back side of that green plot. <clears throat> so this is going to be one of those perfect scenarios, this gap. I mean, obviously this is how we drive in between the two fields but what I'm gonna do too in here is I'm gonna set up this is gonna be kind of like a scrape trap what I call scrape traps and I'll probably have two mock scrapes right here one on the edge of that green one in the center here maybe even a third one one like by this cedar going into these beans and try to catch these deer pinching and stage them right here I got some good trees to hang a Novix tree stand in like this pin oak right there That'd be a great tree for a stand. Any of those for on that corner. I can even get into one of these in the early season like this. There's a cedar right there. But this would make a really nice pinch. And, you know, catching these deer going from grain to green or green to grain in early, you know, mid-October time when they're starting to feel their oats a little bit. Um, so that's kind of my plan in this spot. That's just a little Booner School tip, I guess. Um, that's kind of how I use scrapes. You know, I kind of use those to hold the deer. Um, they're just as big of an attractant as they are, you know, as food plots are. So, you know, combining some dominant, you know, black widow scrapes. You know, I, I use black widow deer lures. Everybody knows that. Um, but using some young buck to get them started. You know, even some, uh, I don't know what you'd call, like, you know, just straight dope pee early season you know and then as the fall starts to progress then i'll start sprucing it up a little bit maybe using i don't i don't really use the dough and esters till like i don't personally use it you know like the hot and ready stuff until it gets right to the rut uh, i know some does pop early but i just have a lot of good luck with like dominant buck like if you got a big buck in here and you start using that dominant buck, it kind of makes them mad. They want to know who's in their territory. So I'll use like dominant buck, um, which would be called dominator. Um, young buck works too, you know, but I use a lot of doe matriarch actually from the tree stand, just spraying that in the air um, as a cover when I'm in the stand. But a lot of different options, but you guys all know that I'm big on scrape hunting. And uh, actually... There was a hunt we just put out in the, you know, this past season. It was called, um, oh, what the heck was it? Oh, Forks, I think it was, or Splits. It was called Splits. And I shot that deer right in a scrape. Um, I've caught, killed a lot of deer in scrapes on Whitetail Edge over the years. And Black Widow Deer Lures is definitely a test to that. So um, they work. But you can just see how cool this is going to be. Turning this into beans and bedding down. Hold on this got that gap there you know going into the back green field and so you know I've got other options to hunt too I mean plenty of options to have a stand I'm sure I'll have something here in this cedar or like a redneck blind up here I'm really excited about this I'm trying to turn this property into something out here so 